Breakfast of Champions. Fred's mom is coming down this weekend and uh, she'd like some firewood. So I think I'm gonna cut this tree up back here so that we can clean that up. The new owners don't have to worry about that then. And if there's time, which there probably won't be because I think the dump closes early, uh, maybe I'll get all of our garbage together so that tomorrow I can load it up and do a big garbage run. I might have to do a couple back and forth because once we actually start moving, I don't want to have to also move garbage. I'd like to take all the garbage away that needs to be taken away so that, because what I was going to do at first was we were going to have the whole week to settle in, right? We were going to get all our stuff moved over there and then come back here during the week and, and grab all of our garbage and stuff and take it away then after we move. But now that I'm home this week, I got to do it now. Because if uh, uh, I don't want to waste the two days I get in our new house running back here to get our garbage and clean it up. I'd like to have that all done so that when we actually get into the house, I can just actually settle in and enjoy it. Maybe we can get everything in there on Monday, set up the TV in there Monday, and then Tuesday we can sort of just, you know, relax and slowly unpack and figure out where everything's going to go. And, and then Wednesday I'm back to work and who knows how long I'll be gone, right? Probably be a longer trip. I gotta start making up time here, making up lost miles. So, tree and garbage today. But first, we need to fill our belly with high quality KD. I'm just taking the whole garbage can. I'm gonna keep the garbage can, but there's no bag in it. Because we're those kind of people. <laughs> There's a big spider on that one from the pits of hell. He's going to the dump too, where he belongs. Got all kinds of stuff. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, there you go. Beautiful. Okay, so this was all the building material stuff. So at the dump, I gotta go over the scale and pay for this by weight. Because uh, it's not just normal household garbage. So at least we got this out of the way Which is a good thing because tomorrow we're probably gonna have to do another one or two dump runs yet and uh, See where we're at then Steinbach dump We got to go up on the top of that hill over there. I believe First gotta go onto their scale Gotta go on here and weigh in and then we weigh out then we pay for how much weight we brought in Got to go in and tell them what I got. Got to take it all to the active cell. Got to do some off-roading here today. Active cell this way. Oh, last time we had to go the other way. I guess they move it every day. Makes sense. All the way to the top here and then they spread it all out and cover it with dirt because that is the best solution we have come up with in 2020 for our garbage oh, a little bit of a steep hill here we're good we're good okay active cell I think right where that pickup is right there right in here anywhere I'm pretty sure all this junk Yikes. This is a good place to get a flat tire.
really should be wearing my gloves. I brought my gloves along for this very task. There we go. Much better. Uh, this is the heavy one. This is the one with that big spider in it. He's probably long gone. It's coming to haunt me in my nightmares. I know it. Ah. Oh. Drywall dust. if I remembered my broom, so I'll have to sweep her out another day, eh? You know what? Our new house has garbage pickup. No more garbage man Josh. Whoa! Gets me every time. Always forget about it. Okay, there's another one here. There we go. There we go. Hole is dusty. Ten dollars on the button. It's usually not exactly ten bucks. It's usually ten bucks per load for household garbage, but for that you go by weight. So it was weird. They're like, wait, what? And I was like, wait, what? Exactly ten dollars? Mint. Nice, I'll have another load for him tomorrow. Well, that'll be household garbage, so that'll be another 10 bucks. And then once we move, no more Trucker Josh or no more Mr. J garbage Josh, whatever you wanna call me. No more garbage man for me. Our taxes actually go for actual garbage people to pick up our garbage now. Cause I don't know where my taxes went before. I'm paying all these taxes like we had no services out in the country, nothing. We had our own water, our own well, our own sewer, took away our own garbage, pumped our own uh, our, our own sewage, everything. All we paid for, I guess, was school buses for the kids and uh, some snow clearing. They never really cleared our roads that well, but uh, on our road was also a paved road, so there's that. But it's paved with literally a quarter inch of asphalt not even joking it's a quarter inch my pickup tears that road up if I'm not careful they're always fixing it and patching it because it's literally quarter inch of asphalt we paved your road yeah sure you did sure you did. that's not what I consider paved but hey keeps the dust down at least right all right there wasn't really anything I had to do while I was in town I needed to go to EG Penner but it's 607 p.m. now and they close at six o'clock because they don't like making money the hardware store seriously a hardware store closes at 6 p.m. most people only get off work at what five o'clock somewhere around there so they got what an hour to run home or they or they got to run to EG Penner after work and they only got like an hour or whatever to, to get their stuff before they close well, what are you talking about that's when you make your money when people get off work then they want to come and spend the money they earned to build stuff but whatever Steinbach, man. I love this town, but they could sure make a whole lot more money if they would uh, extend their business hours just a wee little bit, but I think the main reason for that is Steinbach puts a huge emphasis on family. And uh, in the evenings and weekends, especially Sundays, are supposed to be spent with your family. So most businesses are closed. It's family time. I think it's actually law that they close on Sundays for most businesses because they want you at home. Spend it with your family, spend it with your kids. That's where you need to be. It's just the way it is out here. Not every town, for those of you outside of Canada, not all of Canada is like the southeast of Manitoba. We are our own culture, our own little region within this massive, uh, massive country we call Canada. Tim Timony, Tim Timony, Tim Tim Taru. Timmy Hawes. Can't run to town and not get Timmy's. It's gonna be uh, dangerous once we live, like right, right close by, like we're gonna have a Tim Hortons 
very close by to us. I mean, compared to what we're used to. It's not like a 25 or half hour drive into town anymore. We're gonna have to become shareholders. We're gonna spend so much money here. How are we gonna get today? Could I get a large coffee with two cream, a shot of espresso, and a honey cruller donut, please? And a honey cruller donut? Uh, let me just, just one or two? Uh, just one. Okay. Anything else I can get for you? That's it. All right, it'd be 404 in a window. Super duper. Awesome boss. For those of you that have been following my channel for the past like nine years, you'll know that at the beginning of my vlogging thing, uh, I used to always go by the Tim Hortons in Sage Creek when I lived in that area in the southeast corner of Winnipeg. And every time I'd go through the drive-through and I'd say super duper, they would reply with awesome possum. And ever since then, I've been trying to find another drive-through that'll respond awesome possum when I say super duper. No luck, not even once. Not even once, but I still try. One day I'll find another. And it got a little late in the day. Didn't get to the tree. We'll have to get to that tomorrow or the next day. We have until like Sunday yet. I mean, like I said, if I have time, I got a thousand other things I got to get done here yet. So uh, that's it. I mean, take the garbage away. Got one thing done today. I'm going to put the camera done and uh, camera down and get a bunch of other things done. And we're just going to talk to you tomorrow. How's that sound? That way I can just focus on preparing because it's it's getting closer. So mostly what we got to do is this wall here and that TV. Uh, got to get all these screws out of here. We got to mud over the holes, let that dry, and then paint this wall. So this video will be a little shorter than the past couple of ones, but hey, tomorrow is another day. We'll make a longer one tomorrow. How's that sound? And this whole weekend, we got lots of footage to capture for you guys. I'm, I'm excited to put together the video of actual moving day. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And then we got to make a whole video of just the tour of the house, which will probably be a pretty short video because it's a pretty small house. We'll probably do the house tour. No, we got to do the land tour because the, the property out in the country is a little ways out of the country. We'll do that the next day. Well, I'll figure it out. I'm looking forward to putting this all together. It's, a, it's an exciting part of our lives, so... It's uh, not just for you guys on YouTube here. It's also for us down the road, our memories. This is probably going to be a video that we come back to in the future. Uh, just looking at when we, when we started this adventure in life. So I'll see you all tomorrow then. Take care and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell beside the subscribe button so you don't miss when my next video goes live because I don't have a set time when I release it, but if you hit that bell, it should send you a notification when it goes live so you can either you know, put it into your watch later folder or hey, sit down and watch it right then like a hardcore Trucker Josh viewer. I know, that's you, isn't it? So don't forget to ring that bell. I'll see you tomorrow.